This video covers Power SDR KE99S version 2.8.0.128 and all the changes since the last video. <clears throat> uh, the first first thing I added was a uh, a, a repeat timer for the uh, <clears throat> for the contest button. So uh, if you set this to zero, it just acts like it did before. But if you uh, if you put a number in there in, in seconds, then when I hit this button, it'll repeat itself automatically. And then I can stop it at any time by just simply keying the, the radio or clicking on this, the CQ CQ button. It'll, it'll end the recording. And uh, you make the recording from here. And you, by clicking on this, it'll automatically zero the drive. Uh, and then you can, you can talk into the microphone and make the recording. Now originally you could only talk into a microphone connected to the flex radio itself, but now I've, I've made it so that you can use the VAC uh, and, a, and a PC microphone if that's the way you, you run your radio, uh, you know, get your audio through the VAC. It won't disable the VAC so you can, you can actually make a recording, uh, a quick recording, one of these quick recording buttons or a quick recording up here. Uh, through the VAC. <clears throat> Next thing I did was the shortwave listening search button uh, would open up the search window here and also you know activate the uh, shortwave signals on, on the pan adapter. Now if you hit it again it toggles it turns it off so you can you know so it's a toggling function. Another one I added was um, <clears throat> 630 meter button you click that now it basically takes you to the shortwave band and you can see it defines the uh, the band the 630 meter band uh, unfortunately though there is no AM broadcast filter built into the flex I've got one an external one that's hooked into the uh, uh, hooked into the RX1 loop so I activate it from here Otherwise, if I take the filter out, <clears throat> you can see the local AM broadcast just swamped the entire receiver. So I need that that filter in there to um, uh, to act as a low pass filter. Mine actually, my AM broadcast filter is actually a notch filter for just the AM broadcast band. So it kind of acts like a, a low pass filter because the built-in filters uh, already filter everything. Um, from one, you know, above the 160 meter band, anyways. So uh, I just need to filter out the AM broadcast band. Uh, now it won't let you transmit unless you have extended uh, Mars privileges. Uh, but even if you could transmit, you would need a filter on the transmitter as well as a receiver. You'd still have to have a, a filter that could handle 100 watts <clears throat> and act as a low pass filter, since there is no low pass filter built into the radio. So it's just, uh, you can monitor a 630 meter band. Uh, usually there's JT9 and whisper uh, signals present on that band. Uh, but anyway, the next is when you do a playback, um, let's, let's go back uh, to the 40 meter band. When you do, when you play back a recording, let's say you make a recording of somebody and you play it back, if you had any of these features on they're disabled during playback well the downward expander was not disabled during playback for some reason so I I added that fixed that so it is now disabled when you play back audio like all the other features are disabled I added an autofocus feature <clears throat> that's the next feature uh, right here autofocus for SDR now it's, it's on right now so what happens is I've got two monitors you can't see my second monitor but if I move over to the other monitor and I I click uh, and I'm on the internet. Let's say I've got a browser open. Now you can see the top line of Power SDR turn white. Now when I move my mouse back, it automatically goes back into focus. And the reason is, and you can you can uh, um, uh, do things with the keyboard, and it'll automatically be back in focus. Now one of those other features I added was the space bar uh, hold to push to talk or a latch on off push to talk now right now it's the hold feature so what happens is when it's when you see it's in focus I hold the space bar and it automatically keys the radio you can see and I let go of the space bar on keys now I can also change that feature to the uh, latch on off and what that is now is it, when power SDR is in focus I just hit it once to and I let go of the space bar and it's transmitting and then I hit it again to, to unkey 
uh, if you do remote operation, that's probably the best for remote operation. But I, I keep it in this uh, hold to PTT. The uh, next is on the antenna panel. There was a problem where uh, if you have a second receiver on the Flex 5000, this antenna didn't update. It, it, it didn't update here. It, it, you know, it, you never knew what it was going to be. Uh, it, it just wasn't updated right when the second receiver was not on. <clears throat> so it got kind of messed up. So I made it so that it does, whether it's on or off, whether the second receiver is on or off, it will uh, do it correctly. And then it also gives you the second window um, to show you what band that you currently are on with RX2. So it, it makes this work a little bit better. <clears throat> if you're in simple mode, you don't see that anyways. But, it, but the receiver 2 follows correctly now it should follow correctly now whether the receiver is actually on or off uh, and it wasn't doing that before the next is the cwx panel uh, these buttons now for the macros they still work as a button uh, you put it in sideband mode uh, and then you can hit the button and it'll it'll transmit but also if this is in focus if if the if the CW panel is in focus, I can hit the F2 button and it'll transmit <clears throat> or whatever macro, uh, F1 through F9. It's just the CW panel has to be in focus. And that's where the autofocus feature also comes in because I have two monitors. I leave the panel on the other monitor and then I can go between uh, the CW panel and the, the main console and it automatically puts focus wherever I drag the mouse. I don't have to click anywhere in the panel to achieve uh, focus, the keyboard focus. That's the CWX panel. And uh, next feature I added was uh, just in general the um, uh, <clears throat> on the band data here I added, you got the FT8 uh, but I also added FT4 the FT4 mode you can see it over here so that's in the uh, the band so now when you when you get in that area there you'll see how that FT4 changes. Just right click on that to just turn that on and off. Uh, and then if when you update software you always have to go over to the options and click this update band text button and then that will update the band text on here. All you got to do is move back and forth one time and then it'll it'll update the uh, <clears throat> if there's any new band text data. Uh, oh, spot age in the spotting window for the DX spotting. You have spotting age. It used to be that these spots would accumulate for up to 30 minutes, 35 minutes, I believe. Um, and now you go up to spotting age, and another window pops up on my second monitor here. And I'm going to drag it over, but now you can set it. I got to set to 15 minutes. So now they will roll off the uh, screen after 15 minutes. So that's the spotting age. The uh, ne the last feature here is the high res feature. <clears throat> uh, so now I can kind of show you the difference here um, when you're doing when you're looking at the pan adapter here. Let me go to like a regular regular pan. Uh, let's see. Let's go back over. So you see all these signals here. <clears throat> I can see them fairly well. Probably a little bit too bright, but um, if I go to display, <clears throat> if I disable that and then restart, this is what it would look like before at 192 kilohertz sample rate. That's what the uh, FT8 band looked like when you zoomed all the way in. So now this gives you. A lot more resolution <clears throat> and uh, you can adjust it a little bit so you can actually see the actual signal so that's the high res in it and in your own transmit when you when you key um, when you key the radio And uh, and you transmit hello, hello. So now you, you can actually get more resolution 
in your transmit data um, as well. I'm not actually talking into my microphone. My microphone's over on my desk. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, it is actually it goes from 4,000 points maximum across the screen to uh, over 16,000 points across the screen, so you get a lot more resolution um, on, on the screen. Even when you're running like this in this mode, you'll get a lot more detail on the screen. And uh, that's it.